You're tuned in to Reading with Robin. My guest today is Kathy Barrow. She's a freelance food writer, cooking teacher, food preservation expert. I feel so inadequate already. She writes the Bring It column in the Washington Post food section. Her first book, which is gorgeous, Mrs. Wheelbarrow's, oh, that's so clever, Practical Pantry, won the prestigious IACP IACP Award for Best Single Subject Cookbook in 2015. She's written for the New York Times, Serious Eats, Garden and Gun, Local Palette, many others, and she lives just outside of Washington, D.C. with her husband and two rescue terriers. I, you know, pie is great, but a dog person is even yes. like higher on my list. And I am thrilled to have you on to talk about your brand new, oh, my God, so gorgeous book called Pie Squared, Irresistibly Easy, Sweet, and Savory Slab Pies. So I've learned something new just right there. I would never heard of a slab pie. Welcome, Kathy. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here, Robin. I am so excited. I, uh, your publicist, Nick, told me about this book, and I said, oh, my God, that's so gorgeous. Plus, what's a slab pie? Is it something that I just didn't realize that's what it was called, or I really haven't seen them? And they're just you know, so... They've, oh. they've been around for quite a while. Martha Stewart did a lot with slab pies a few years ago. Okay. 252 has featured them, mm-hmm. but there's never been a book that was just completely devoted to slab pies. Well, congratulations on having said book. It it really Thank is. You. It is just like this cozy, gorgeous book, and I love I love cookbooks. I mean, I just who doesn't? And um, just the. It's irresistible, and you have sweet, savory, everything so clever, and I want to talk about these, but before we get started, I know you just arrived in Austin for the Big Texas Book Festival. I am so jealous. I wish I could go to every book festival because I have the worst FOMO when it comes to book festivals, <laughs> and I, because it's so much fun, and if, if you go to the uh, website, people can see who's there. It's just an embarrassment of riches and so much fun. So you just arrived, right? I did just arrive, and it starts tomorrow, and I just can't wait. There's so <sighs> many exciting authors here and things to do, and Austin is such a great town. And you're in Austin. This is my, I mean, you're yeah. in Austin. So, uh, this I is love my that second city. time here, and I <laughs> just am so happy to be back. Oh, mm-hmm. I mean, so much fun. And so who are you stalking? Anybody in particular? Uh, well, I just finished the library book, so I'm hoping to find Susan Orlean. Uh, wasn't that an amazing, <laughs> an you amazing see a, book? A dizzying tour. Go on her website and see where they have her, because we I were know. trying to we were trying to figure it out for here. And I never give up. But I was like, you know what? I think Susan's busy enough. Maybe when the baby back comes up. I loved the book. I think she has 30 cities. I think so, and it's like. Up, down, back, forth. It's just mm-hmm. so dizzying. And, uh, yeah, so she'd be a really good one to stalk. Um, I was looking at my list. I actually have a suggested stalker list for you. If oh, you, good. If you want suggestions. So you're at 12, I think I saw 1230 tomorrow. Who are you with? What? How is that working? Um, in, the, uh, in the Texas uh, Book Festival program, they have several cookbook authors who do mm-hmm. demonstrations in the 10th. That is supported by Central Market, a marvelous um, oh, yes. grocery store here. Oh, that's and, so cool. Uh, so you're going to be demonstrating. I am. I'm going to make my Just Like Artichoke Dip Slap Pie. <sighs> wow. It just keeps getting that better. That pie is such a winner. I can't tell you. Uh, I mean, I take it to parties, and it is gone in a minute. Oh, it's my goodness. It's the most popular thing. Mm-hmm. So that was the art. Which one? I mean, I've gone through this, but that's the one with the artichoke. It's, Yes, oh, here, just, just like, like artichoke dip. Choke dip. Mm-hmm. Which artichoke yeah. dip is so amazing. I, all right, so wait, I just want to go back to the event that you were at first yes. before. So you'll be making them. <laughs> do you have some pre-made, like on the Today Show, so that you can serve them, or do you actually make it and then serve that one? Because you'll be the most popular. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you'd be the one that everybody wants to go to, I would assume. Well, sadly, they don't allow sampling at oh, the festival. Sad. It oh, is because it smells really good and it looks yes. really good, and people will come and beg me, and I, I so can't you're like, do it. So you're like the, te- the pie teas. Um, the worst teas in the world. <laughs> you, oh, wow, you pie teas. So, that, yeah, there's probably some rule or something, but. Exactly. 
so they can look at it and they can smell it. They can get within six inches and they have to back, right. away, <laughs> back away from the pie. They're also so beautiful. And I'm on the phone with Kathy Barrow. Her website is it's, it's kathybarrow.com. Is that right? That's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we're talking about her brand new, gorgeous, just out cookbook called Pie Squared. It's slab pies, and I love the the way they're all decorated so differently, and they just look like they don't have, they're not like precious looking pies. They look like hearty, they're gorgeous, but they look like they don't have to be just so, you know, even the cover. You know, I think there's a a real movement right now, especially on Instagram, all you see are these over-decorated and super Mm -hmm. pretty pies, and I'm all for that if you're into it, but I don't want anybody to be, um, embarrassed if their pie isn't like that. I mean, pie sure. is delicious. It, it's oh, yeah. delicious no matter what you do. And it, I just want to make people make pies. <laughs> it, it really is delicious. I, the vegetarian black bean chili one I was thinking of because, you know, we're all thinking holidays and Thanksgiving and we're family filled with vegetarians. And I just thought that would be so much. Do you rec- What do you recommend uh, that I um, wow my well, family um, with? I like to say that I'm in a mixed marriage because my husband's a vegetarian. (laughs) Well, then you (laughs) are. For 20 years. And so I've been cooking a lot of vegetarian food for a long time. And Mm -hmm. I found myself making more and more vegetarian versions of these pies, particularly because they end up being wonderful side dishes, especially Mm -hmm. at something like Thanksgiving. Sure. When you're trying to accommodate a lot of different um, eating. Styles. Mm-hmm. And uh, the pan roasted mushroom and kale is one of oh, our favorites. Okay. And it's that Gruyere cheese, which mm. is nutty and melty. And there's a spinach and gorgonzola one that's mm. just divine, and asparagus one. There's a lot of vegetarian options. I saw that, and, and I, I absolutely am making one. I will hashtag it, and you'll. And you'll see. Fantastic. I, that is so much fun, but they are so beautiful, and they just jump off the page. Photography is really gorgeous. Don't tell me you did I that was, as well. Did you do No, that? I was oh. very lucky to work with the two women from the Canal House, Christopher oh. Hersheimer and Melissa Hamilton. Well, they're and They beautiful. are so talented. They did my last book, Mrs. Wheelbarrow's Practical Pantry, and they've also shot my next book, which is called When Pies Fly. I love that. So we're Thank already you. so we can re, we can schedule our next interview because I know I'm going to just not want to miss anything that you do. This the one that looks like a pop tart. That one is crazy yeah. looking. I, I just was flipping through and I was like, oh my god, that is a giant pop tart. That's exactly what it is. It's, I'm going to say that is not oh. the easiest pie in the book. That oh, one's really? pretty hard to make, but it's what, worth what makes it. it hard? What's part, what part um, is tricky? It's filled with fresh strawberries, and fresh strawberries, the moment sugar touches them, they mm-hmm. start to just exude all this liquid. And yeah. so you have to make it really fast. So you have to be kind of, you know, ready to go and just okay. get the filling in and fold it all up and put it in the freezer to freeze it solid before it goes in the oven. And then okay, it's fine. so it's not a starter just, pie. So you wouldn't like which no. is this, which one would you, con, you know, if somebody really is a little nervous about digging into the slab pie? Like, what would you recommend for well, ease sake? Um, I think I, I call it dough phobia. There are a lot of people <laughs> who are afraid to roll out dough. Uh huh. And I I can say with all modesty that my pie dough is very very easy to work with. Mm-hmm. But if you're afraid, there are um, press-in crusts. There's an olive oil crust and a short, shortbread crust and cracker crust and a cookie crust and hash brown crust, all these different options to use as crust if you don't want to roll something out. So I think the entry level on the sweet side is definitely like the chocolate peanut butter pie, which is made mm. with chocolate cookie crumb crust and a peanut butter and cream cheese filling, and it's divine. Um, on the savory side, there's uh, the Moroccan spiced shepherd's pie, which is really yummy with a press-in olive oil crust and a spiced lamb filling and just a cloud of mashed potatoes on top. Oh, wow. They, oh, they just, you know, what are you making tomorrow that people cannot try? Oh, I, I'm making the artichoke pie. Oh, you said that. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm and just a cream like, cheese so... crust. Oh, oh. So do you make the crust ahead of time? Yes, in fact, I usually have three or four in my freezer at oh. any moment. 
so oh, that I can just leap into a pie. Mm-hmm. That's really cool. So you're just always ready to go. So if somebody you're having company and it's a last minute thing, you don't yeah. panic. You just go in there and see. And also, do you keep pies frozen and ready to roll, or if I had room in my freezer, I would. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any room. <laughs> yeah, no, and I can see. And what is what is the pan that you use? Are they different pans, or it's all the same kind of pan? It's all made in one pan, and it's a nine by thirteen sheet pan. Okay. So it's called a quarter sheet pan in the restaurant world, but it's, so it's half not like the a, size of what we usually use for sheets. So it's like not a like a sheet. jelly roll pan. No, it's got deeper, uh, right? No, it is like a jelly roll pan with a one inch side. Yeah. So a hi- oh, so a higher side. Okay. Mm-hmm. So is, and is that perfect, or you do you have any like? Um, uh, uh, do you have any plans to have like your own slab pie cookware or something like that? No, I don't think no. so because they're they're so easy to find. These quarter sheets are available anywhere from like five dollars a piece to fifteen if you want something fancy. And I get them with lids. They come with these snap-on plastic really? lids. Really. So you can make the pie and carry it to a party, and it's all ready to go. It's oh, wonderful. I didn't, mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't know they come with lids. I, we actually might have some of these pans because I probably thought they were like sort of cookie sheets, but with like a higher yep. side. And I think we, I think we, again, I'm really, I'm very aware of what's in my kitchen. I think we do have those. And you mentioned like putting on a, a lid and bringing it somewhere. And I was reading in the book, these are such a perfect thing to bring to someone's house or, like you said, to serve a lot of, you know, side dish because they look like they really would serve a nice amount of people. They do. Uh, Some of them will serve a dozen people, and if they're Mm -hmm. really rich, they'll even stretch to feed like 18 people. It's very accommodating. Yeah. I mean, I I guess it depends on the people. This Hawaiian pizza slab pie, isn't that crazy? <laughs> it, yes. It, well, and you've got those beautiful pineapple rings and, like, the sauce and the um, – did you have to cut recipes from the book? You have so many in here, but were there some that you just – you'll have to – is that what the uh, next book is about or no? The next book is about freeform pies, like hand oh. pies and galettes and empanadas. Oh. And um, mm. I did have – extra filling ideas that I mm-hmm. didn't put into this book that ended up in the next one. Oh, that's yeah. great because you don't, you know, mm-hmm. talk about leftovers. That's not like the ultimate with an author, you know, especially in fiction. We've been talking this week about historical fiction a lot and all the research that's collected. And it's like, what can you do with it, you know, and right. entertain people at a, <laughs> a cocktail party maybe, but it's great to use those leftovers or bit somewhere. So I love yes. that you're able to... <laughs> literally take your leftovers and stick them in an empanada um right they just these look so these are just so much fun okay so tomorrow you're going to be making the artichoke is are they filming this for those they're that can't not there? but i no. i will be on uh the hallmark channel oh uh, i next love that week. channel okay mm-hmm. and i'll be have... making the chocolate peanut butter pie there and when are they airing that is that for like a november holiday? 1st Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, so you're filming it and then they're airing it pretty fast. I love the Hallmark Channel. I just mm-hmm. can't wait till those Christmas movies start. Or do they right? Start? It's or just November so first. happy. I just yeah. love them. I watch them all winter long, and sometimes more than once they are just so happy. And there's um, it's, so having you on there making a pie is perfect. I will post that when I post um, about your tour too. I have everything. Thank you. Um, here, you're welcome because. Um, Oh, I'm so excited. The Hallmark Hallmark Channel is, that is like a really big deal in this house. Yeah, we love them. Um, (laughs) So we're talking about Pie Squared. It's just out, irresistibly easy, sweet and savory slab pie. So truly something for everyone. And it's cookbook season, and everybody wants to know, like, what's something different to to make. And and as Kathy makes it, the confidence, I, I mean, I feel my confidence growing that I could do one of these, and, um, and I am Well, I can I also tell to... you, Robin, that I have on YouTube, I've got oh. five videos that will um, show you all my tips and tricks for making slab pies. Oh, that's so cool. All right, so you have a YouTube channel, and it's mm-hmm. under Kathy Barr. Okay, so I will, that's right. I will look at that. And you dedicated this book to your mom, which is so beautiful. Mm-hmm. Is that how you learned to cook? Was it a family it is. Full She of was just lovers? a great pie maker, and I remember every Thanksgiving morning she would get up early, 
She'd mm. brew coffee, and then she would just start rolling out pie after pie after pie. And I do the same thing. It's just I think that's how Thanksgiving starts. It does. And you just can it, you can just feel it, and then the cooking starts, and just all of it mm-hmm. comes together. And yeah, it's one of our favorite holidays in this family. And Absolutely. I. I yeah, and I really enjoyed looking at your website. I saw about your knitting and Morty the dog. And he's so many, cute, isn't he, Morty? He's adorable. <laughs> he's, I mean, he's adorable. I'm such a dog person. Everybody who listens to Reading yes. with Robin knows that dogs are like tops, it's the tops mm-hmm. of the conversation, plus the book, but the, but the dogs are just... Yeah, we have Louie and Morty, and they're oh, just Louie terrific. and Morty. Morty is mm-hmm. one of the names that we have for like a dog for one day, maybe. We have um, Banny Irving <laughs> is, our, is our puppy, uh-huh. um, but Morty, <laughs> Morty is a, uh, our kids, yeah, that's, that's come up as, in conversation. Uh, Louie and Morty it's are the best. a good dog best. name. Yeah, it is a great dog. Are they best of friends? <laughs> Your uh, they're pretty good friends. You know, they're terriers, so they spend mm-hmm. most of their time trying to kill each other. But I think they <laughs> like each other, too. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. I know. We've never had two, you know, at the same time. But um, there's, a, mm-hmm. there's a move for that. Um, but I'm a big I, fan of two. Yeah, Something really interesting people. happens when you bring a second dog in. The first one <laughs> starts acting like a dog. Isn't that funny? You know? Because they don't think they are, and then all of a sudden it's like, wait, I'm, I belong with that. Who are those That's others? Right. <laughs> that is funny. And the pictures of, of people with two are just darling. So one of my Facebook friends just brought home a puppy, and just seeing mm-hmm. that puppy curled up on on the big sister, I'm like, oh. Yeah, it's you know, the you sweetest just, thing. Yeah, the sweetest thing. Do you knit things for them? I do. I make jackets for them. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh, my goodness. I saw socks. I mean, I know it's very impressive. Yeah. You're very talented, clearly very talented. And so um, I'm like, what else Thank does you. she do? She does a lot of stuff. <laughs> um, and we were talking off air. You're, in the, you're reading um, Kate Atkinson's book. So did you yeah. bring a few, like, I don't know where you are in it, but do you always have, like, a backup book with you in case that one gets finished? I, I like to travel with a hard cover book. Um, Mm -hmm. I like reading a real book when I'm traveling, but I always have three or four on my iPad should I need additional Oh, okay. So you're you're Mm -hmm. prepared for any kind of emergency. Plus, you have that pie that you can't serve to anybody. So... You're in really, right. you're really good. You're in really Talking good shape. at a book festival, I figure I can't get out of here without ten more books. I'm in no, deep trouble. You absolutely can. And I have a little list. Um, if I don't know who else you're going to get to see, are you there? Is it all day Saturday and all day Sunday? That's right. Okay, so you have plenty. All right, so um, you want to see Show Beret for sure. Okay. You want to see Elizabeth McCracken. You want? Oh to yeah, see I do. My, yeah, she's amazing. Bowl Away was really awesome. We got to see Elizabeth when she was in Rhode Island for the NEBA conference. You uh-huh. want to see Ruman Alam because he is friggin' hilarious and I love him and his books. Um, okay. You want to see my friend Sarah McCoy. She wrote Marilla of Green Gables. Give her a hug from me, please. And okay. <laughs> We hardly even know each other, Kathy. I'm going to be very busy. <laughs> giving you assignments, and if you get a chance to see Alexander Chi, he's just brilliant and um, funnier than he thinks he probably is. And uh, Rachel Hang and Lillian Lee, also. Okay. I think, and there were so many. I mean, I was looking through that list, and I'm like, wait, I'm only up to the C's or the D's, and um, there were others, but like those were my, those were my top. It's a picks. terrific festival. Have you been? I have not been to this one, and it's on my list. I've been to a few of the ones that are, like, in the Northeast, and I'm mm-hmm. planning on the Tucson Festival, <clears throat> but I should really get to this one. Amanda Air Ward is a friend of ours, and she lives in Austin, and the first time she came to Rhode Island to do an event and told us about that festival, I said, oh, we've got to get there, and that was, like, seven years ago. <clears throat> but the last time we were in Austin, we did get to see her and go to their fabulous bookstore over there. So um, it's just such a great city. I, the food was yeah. insane. Uh, we had, yeah. like, really – there's a really cool bar slash ice cream shop there. Um, I forget what it's called. Oh. But it's, like, you know, really good homemade ice cream and drinks. Yum. 
Yeah, right. it's probably I have to nothing. find out. Yeah, and there were like, yeah, and there were food trucks behind it and twinkle lights. There were like twinkle lights and food trucks everywhere from what everywhere. I remembered. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, and a really And cool... the festival is held on the grounds of the Texas Capitol. Yeah. And it's, it's on the walkway oh. that goes all the way around the Capitol building. Oh, it's very God. pretty, and there are lots of food trucks, and it's just oh. a lovely day. All mm-hmm. of it. Well, enjoy it because there's nothing like being with book people and um, and doing the panels and getting to see panels and catching up with friends. And who are the other cookbook authors that are there? Paula Dispro will be um, uh, demonstrating before me, and she has a mm-hmm. new book on grilling that came out through Ooh. the Food 52 uh, mm-hmm. imprint at 10 Speed. Mm-hmm. And oh, Ed I Lee, I know Ed Lee is here. Um, he has a memoir, I think. Oh. And I don't, I don't know anybody else. I should have looked it up, but I no, haven't figured okay. that. I knew no Paula. Pressure. <laughs> no pressure, Kathy. <laughs> no pressure. Um, so which, like, which pie are you most known for in the family? Like if people come I'm over and invite you over. I'm for sour cherry pie. I have oh, uh, been no. making it most of my life. I got a blue ribbon for it in my first ever pie contest about oh, that's so cool. 10 years ago. Uh huh. And uh, it sort of kicked off my food writing career. That blue that ribbon. Pie contest. Yeah. What, so where do you hang? Is it hung in the kitchen? No, it's uh, it's secret. Night and it's in my office. It oh, feels okay. a little silly to put it out. Do you, do you wear it around? Is it... All the time, yes. And a tiara. Oh, you know, they go well together. I do. I'm they so do. taken with the pictures, though, of these, um, the crust, like the ones where the little squares are cut all out and there's, you know, it's kind of an asymmetrical design and the southern style tomato slab pie with cheddar cheese crust, the, you know, the lattice work. Is that more difficult than I would think, or it's not? It looks tricky. It's really not. You know, part of it is having the right dough, and my pie dough is very uh, easy to work with. Mm-hmm. And uh, the other thing is just not to worry too much. I have something that I call the lazy lattice. Oh, I like lazy. Literally, you don't even, don't even bother basket weaving. Just put it down in one direction, put it down mm-hmm. in the other direction. By the time it's cooked, nobody can tell that it's lattice, you know, basket weave. Just don't worry about it so much. Yeah, this I think is that's... my real um, message is stop worrying. Just mm-hmm. make a pie. <laughs> I, I know. That, right. People can fret about things that really aren't fret worthy. And, and then right. you can become paralyzed. And it's like, who cares? You know, and when you think about when you're a child, you don't care so much. You just sort of do things until you find out that you're not doing it right but until in that very beautiful childlike state of everything's cool kind of want to go back there because who cares well this yankee doodle dandy sour that's the one you're talking about the sour cherry yes isn't it beautiful so beautiful i mean and i love the way the photographer allowed the messy mm -hmm. in the pie you know it's dripping over the side oh yeah that's that's pie and that's the one you've got on the cover. Yeah, I was thinking of, of mm-hmm. that movie Waitress and Play with the pie and yes. also um, the movie Michael with John Travolta and the song about the pie. Do you know the that's song? That's my favorite. Yes, I do. Really? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Andy McDowell just does a song about exactly. pie. I love mm-hmm. that. That's what I was thinking of when I saw this. And I have to also say in the back here, how to slice a slab pie. Who did the illustrations? Oh, that's my friend Marilyn Pollock Nayron, who is so oh. talented. Isn't that a beautiful illustration? It is gorgeous. It's so so they, charming. It's so charming. Is, did she also do on your website the, that background on top? The um, yes, she did. Mm-hmm. I thought because I I was so taken with that. I I was showing my daughter. I said, I got to know who like that's my kind of art. I just like would love that mm-hmm. stuff on a toad or a tea. Yeah. Well, you should follow her on Instagram. She does beautiful work. Her uh, Instagram I, handle is M P N A R O N. And M-P-N-A-R-O-N. she also illustrated. Yeah. She also illustrated a book by Frank Bruni and Jennifer Steinhauer that came out earlier this year on meatloaf. Oh, I I I, I didn't know that he had a book. I know Frank. He had a mm-hmm. new book? How did I miss that? Yeah, it came out, maybe it was last, I think it was in March of this year. Mm-hmm. I did not know that. I think I had him on the show the year before that. 
All right, Frank's in trouble. Okay, I will look at that book. But I was, <laughs> when I was on your, uh, I hate when I miss a book. When I was on the website, though, that was one of the first things that caught my eye, and I just thought, who drew that? It's just so charming and um, playful. It's just like, and it's also like, very like me. I mean, that was the thing that Ma- uh, Marilyn is a great illustrator, but she also captures the person. Mm-hmm. And she captured me in that perfectly. Oh, it's beautiful. And this How to Slice a Slab Pie, I just love it. I loved it. <laughs> in the corner it says personal slab pie for one. I mean, yeah. It's very funny and <laughs> lovely. It is. It's fun. Right. And those are the details and those are the things in a, mm-hmm. a cookbook. Because the cookbooks are, it's a story. And, and you're storytelling within the pages of the um the recipes, the beautiful photography, it really is a whole story about this, about slab pies. But And it's all so, um, oh, my God, this last one, what is that? What's the, that <laughs> last one with the beautiful uh, kind of flat, those cream cheese flowers or yes. oh, banana? Mm-hmm. That, oh, is it like farmers, a banana? Yes, that's <sighs> banana, a banana pudding pie. <laughs> oh, my goodness, with like a, what kind of crust is that? Vanilla, that vanilla one? wafers. Oh, wow. <laughs> I want to make that one, too. And I love the ones with the letters. Um, the letters the describe the like letter? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Melissa Hamilton really gets all the credit for decorating these pies. She was so um, inventive and made each one, you know, distinct. It's not easy to shoot. 60 pies, yeah. they're all brown. I mean, let's just say they're brown. And yeah. so to make them interesting, the, the two, Christopher Hersheimer and Melissa Hamilton, were so inventive in the way that they, some of them were sliced and some of them were just the ingredients. And oh, because they all look different. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, mm-hmm. it, it, they, are, they all pop. But I also, you know, just the way this whole book, um, from, from the inside and outside the covers, are covered in in the dough so it's just like this book is like a you know the pages are like a filling of this slab pie book pie i mean the the whole thing it's gorgeous and it's kathy barrows i want to keep saying that kathy burrow (laughs) but it's spelled barrow right but it's yes it is all right (laughs) kathy i'll fix that when i tape it kathy burrows pie squared irresistibly easy sweet and savory slab pies. This was such a treat, and I can't wait to hear how, well, you'll post. Do you tweet and post and do Instagram a lot? I do. I'm very active on Instagram okay. and Facebook, and I do okay. a little bit of Twitter. Mm-hmm. Well, I will check. That's what I, I used to be very heavily, I, I used to love tweeting. One of the things Me is too. that, yeah, well, one of the things is somebody's ruined Twitter for everybody. That's one thing. Hello. Mm. And the other, and the other thing is that when we changed when I got a new phone somehow I can't remember my Twitter I could figure it out password so it's on my computer it's not on my phone and I'm on my phone more and I so that's right. why I'm not and my Instagram is on my phone and it it's connected and my daughter doesn't believe any of this but it's true and so I don't go on Twitter as much but I think it's just a happier place Instagram and um, yeah. so. I'm on there more, so I will find you there and see pictures and um, see what I'm missing. And don't forget the YouTube channel because that's where nope. all the tips are. Mm-hmm. And what is the channel? Is it your name? Yes. Okay, Kathy, Kathy Burrow. Burrow. On, mm-hmm. All right, I'm writing that YouTube, and I will let people know. And check out where Kathy will be because you've got quite an extensive book tour. We'll look for you on the Hallmark Channel. And I am very excited to share Pi Squared with my readers and my listeners and um, all the best and joy. And then you'll Thank be you. home with Louie and Morty before you know it. So. That's right. <laughs> it was and, lovely uh, talking to you. Thank you. Same here. And just have so much fun. And, and let me know who you, who you do find. And if you find Susan, um, you know, your stalking will be a success. It will be complete. 